guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be my pan that palette update and this is the may update i set a goal last time of trying to hit four more pans in this palette and i am happy to say that i did do that so i now have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 pans showing in my 42 um, pan palette. So this is my Beauty Bay EYN nude palette. It's uh, cruelty free and vegan and it's a really nice selection of colours. I'm absolutely loving it still even though I'm five months into panning it. Um, so I'm going to jump on in and show you row by row the progress that I've made since the last update on this palette and at the end I will put in a little slideshow of each month so you can see um, you know the progress that I've made throughout the year so let's start off with the top row my main focus for the last month was expanding the pan in nothing else which is this really nice super light peachy peachy off-white shade like eggshell shade and I use this one to set my under eyes and also set the brow bone. And also, as you can see, I hit pan in Undercover and Raw Sienna, which are these two shades on the on the right here, or my left, your right, I think. <laughs> and these ones here. So this shade Undercover is just a step too dark to set the under eyes so what I did was I just mixed it in with nothing else and used it under the eyes like that and that just lightened it enough so it doesn't look like a shadow under my eyes and then once I hit pan on that I just moved back to using nothing else on its own um, and then raw sienna is just a really nice light transition shade it's very orangey warm which obviously works very well with the hair colour that I have at the moment so I've just been popping that in the crease as a nice transition shade whenever I've been wearing the copper look that I've been wearing in this palette so two more pans on the top row they now no not all of them but majority of the pa of the um, eyeshadows on the top row have pan in apart from this shade here called all or nothing and I will work on this in the next few weeks and hopefully set the goal of hitting pan on that by next time. So then moving on to the second row down, I don't think, yeah no I didn't have any pan goals on this row, but the eyeshadows that I've been working on the most have been Bare Necessity, which is this equally similar shade to Raw Sienna, it's just a couple of steps lighter. So this shade Bare Necessity uh, as like a transition colour. Then also toast I've used a few times as a sizeable dip going on in toast and also um, nutmeg which is just this really warm brown. It's kind of like a mid, mid tone in terms of depth so it's not like a super dark sh shadow like these and it's not like a light one like Bare Necessity, it's right in the middle. So again, I will just work that into the crease when I'm doing like copper toned looks. And then moving right the way down to the third row, which is the first row of all shimmers. So I, the only goal I had on this one was to hit pan on hashtag winning, which I did. It's that shade there. So I just used that all over the lid as a really nice orangey toned lid shade. And it just really pulled out the blue in my eyes, which is really nice. I've been missing wearing orangey looks because I wore them an awful lot last summer when I first dyed my hair red. So I've been really enjoying that. And then moving on to the next row, the only eyeshadow that I started working on was this one called First Prize. And it's this bright orangey gold on the end here. You can see there's a bit of a dip going on there now. So that's really cool. And then the next row down, I hit pan on Hot Cocoa, which is this deep chocolatey red-brown. Really nice eyeshadow to deepen up the copper-toned looks. Again, really works well with my blue eyes. So I thoroughly enjoyed using Hot Cocoa. 
and there was already a huge dip going on in that shade because I had previously used it in my eyebrows when I had like really dark red hair. I did also use Tempting, this brown here. I used that a few times, obviously not enough to hit pan, but I just thought, seeing as I've got pan on all the other browns on that row, I might as well start working on Tempting as well. And then I did actually start incorporating, just a couple of times in the month, these blue shadows at the bottom row here. Um, I was wearing that in my last video, which I think was my Mission 100% Cruelty Free update. So that was my progress for April and now I'm going to move on to talking about my goals for the month of May. So I think the first one I want to hit pan on is going to be this all or nothing shade. I really don't know how I'm going to use this one yet because it's kind of a strange colour. It's like too dark to be a brow bone highlight shade but it's too light really to do any transition work. So. I'm really not sure how I'm going to utilise that shade yet, but I guess I will update you in next month's Pan That Palette and let you know how I'm getting on with that one. So I'm going to try and hit pan on All or Nothing. Then I'm going to try and hit pan on Nutmeg. Again, that just really nice ready, ready clay brown colour. Um, and then, do you know what? I'm going to throw in toast as well. I wasn't going to, but... I think I want to try and hit pan on first prize and I think that will be a nice crease shade to match with it. So yeah, I'm going to put toast in as a gold hit pan and also this lovely first prize shade. Let me give you a swatch of this one. So it's kind of similar to that hashtag winning one which I showed you last month. But it's just a touch like brighter, more of a yellowy kind of orange gold rather than a copper. But yeah, so those three I want to hit pan on. What else? Let's go for tempting as well, just so that I've got pan on that whole row of browns. That would be really, really satisfying, I think. So I'll throw in tempting as well. So that's four. I feel like I can do five. I feel like I want to do five for next month. So let's try. Let's try success. And then I'll have pan on all of those shimmer shades on this row. So all or nothing. Uh, success. Toast, nutmeg, first prize. And tempting. Wait, is that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pans. That's going to be my goals for next time round. It's going to be a challenge, but I've really been enjoying reaching for this palette at the moment. I think because it has got all those warm toned shimmers in, it's just really easy to pair with my like hair colour at the moment. And so I kind of want to just like capitalise on the fact that I want to reach for this a lot. Um, more so over the other shades that I'm panning in other projects. Please do let me know if you are doing this challenge this year, if you're panning a palette, let me know which one you're doing. Um, I'd love to know how you're getting on with your eyeshadows and also if you, any of you are using any cruelty free um, palettes then do let me know because um, to be honest with you, other than my Z palettes and what remains of my Tartlet palette, this is pretty much the only eyeshadow palette I have in my collection um, these days. So I might look into picking up maybe a different eyeshadow next year. So I'd love to hear some recommendations if you're working on any palettes and you think that I might like them. I do like warm toned looks mostly, I'm not going to lie, but also I just love these blues at the bottom and purples. So. But I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please do subscribe to my channel. I'll insert the little slideshow so you can see the progress so far this year. Um, and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye.